All right, let's talk about the most advanced level of phonological awareness known as the phoneme level or phonemic awareness. This is that top level of phonological awareness. It has to do with activities and, and, and the ability to hear individual sounds or individual phonemes in spoken words. This is, uh, we look at those levels again, you know, we had those levels that we did like basic phonological awareness. That's the basic stuff is hearing stuff on a word level. Um, intermediate is being able to take words and, and break them up into their own syllables. So we have the syllable level. Then we have onset and rhyme, looking at hearing each syllable in a word and being able to divide it into its onset and its rhyme. And then we have that most advanced level of phonological awareness, the phoneme level, where we're hearing individual sounds in words, and we call that phonemic awareness. So let's let's uh, define two words. The first word is a phoneme. What is a phoneme? You know, if you've been doing foundations of reading or any type of reading development, you've taken a class, you came across the word phoneme. And when you first heard it, you didn't know what phoneme meant. You're like, phoneme? That's a really new word. And then if you've taken a lot of these classes, you've been around for a while, you know what a phoneme is. It's second nature. A phoneme is an individual speech sound. In the English language, there are 44 distinct speech sounds. Uh, when, we think about, um, when we think about phonemes in a word, this picture here has, has the actual words, like I'm pointing to the word child, right? It, it has, it's, has it written out, but we don't need um, that, that written out the spelling of the word child. It's just a sound activity. So if we just take the word child in oral language and we just break down the sounds we hear, ch, i, l, d, there are four distinct phonemes or a little further down the line. I can't point to it all the way, but you can see the first one is cat. Well, how many sounds do we hear in cat? K, at. So right now, when you think of a phoneme, think of it as an individual speech sound. Phonemic awareness. Remember, this is part of phonological awareness. And I'm going to read the definition so we have this. But, but technically, we say phonological awareness, sorry, technically we say phonemic awareness is the ability to hear, identify, and manipulate sounds in words or in spoken words. This is a very important skill. Now, remember, this is our thumb. Phonological awareness is made up of all these skills. Phonemic awareness is the most important skill in phonological awareness. Without the ability to hear, identify, and manipulate sounds, right? Without that thumb, we wouldn't be able to, it'd be, it'd be very, very hard to decode and encode. You'd have to memorize every single word, right? So phonemic awareness allows us to hear, identify, manipulate sounds and words. And that's going to be really important for, for letter sound correspondence and for activities involving decoding and encoding and the, and the reading process. So very important idea team. Okay. So now that we know that phonemic awareness has to do with the ability of hearing, identifying, and manipulating sound, that skill, it actually can be broken down into several sub-skills. And uh, these can actually be broken down into levels. So it gets a little confusing, right? Because you're like, phonological awareness has those levels. The word level, the syllable level, the onset rhyme level, and now we're at the phoneme level. And, and we're saying that phonemic awareness is the phoneme level, the most advanced part of phonological awareness. And now I'm telling you that that phoneme level can be divided into several different levels. Yikes. So um, that's true. That's right. So that's why this is such a big idea, because this one idea, phonemic awareness, the ability to hear, identify, and manipulate individual sounds in spoken language, it can, be, it can be broken down into several different activities. Uh, I'm going to divide these activities up into, uh, just like we did before, sort of uh, uh, beginner, intermediate, and advanced, okay? And just, let's just walk through them. So like beginner phonemic awareness would be isolating a phoneme. We call it phoneme isolation. And sometimes we ask a child, like let's say we have the word cat. Let's just use a nice word, cat. What is the initial phoneme in the word cat? And the child says, k, cat. Or we say, what is the final phoneme you hear in the word cat? And the child says, t, 
for, for that T. And then we say, what is the medial vowel sound? I'll say that again, medial or middle vowel sound. And they say, ah, in cat. Well, look at that. Those are three different ways of testing out if a child knows how to do phoneme isolation. Isolating the individual phonemes in the word in the beginning, in the middle, and in the end. Uh, blend, this is sort of beginner uh, phonemic awareness, okay? And notice that activity, it's working with individual phonemes. So we're not dealing with, we're not dealing with words, we're not dealing with syllables, we're not dealing with part of, parts of words like onset rhyme. It's activities involving the specific sounds, individual speech sounds in that word. Uh, how about blending and segmenting? Let's take the word, uh, let's take the word, uh, uh, I'll say the word uh, spoon. Okay, uh, spoon, maybe we're gonna blend it, spoon, or segment it, and that's when we, we break down all the sounds, spoon, right? So segmenting and blending, uh, which one's harder? Well, with blending, you gotta be able to take that word spoon, and you gotta almost slow it down. So instead of saying spoon, you say spoon. And then segmenting, that's when you go the extra distance and you break down all the sounds. Spoon. Four sounds, right? These are sort of intermediate. A lot of times you'll see activities and they'll have Elkonin boxes or, or sound boxes. You'll see that a lot with uh, phoneme segmentation activities. They'll have a picture of a cat, uh, and it'll be a picture. Always, it'll be a picture, and that picture will be uh, have some sound boxes that they'll use to segment the phonemes. Phoneme segmentation is really important, and blending is very important because it's going to lead a child to the decoding process. Once they're able to match up letters and sounds and do that letter sound correspondence, then they're going to that that skill of blending and segmenting is really going to help them decode words and help them pronounce words as they come across them in a text to read them. So very two very important skills within phonemic awareness. Okay, so we got phoneme isolation, phoneme blending and segmenting. Now we're gonna get a little bit more advanced and that's when we're gonna do uh, manipulation. Any type of phoneme manipulation is advanced phonemic awareness, like uh, adding a phoneme. Um, let's say I had, um, um, let's say I had a uh, cap and I add uh, a clap, right? So I'm adding a sound to it or deleting a sound to it. Maybe we delete a sound, we take a uh, cap and we just turn it into app, right? And then adding, maybe substituting a sound. Maybe we take the word cap, delete the, take out the C, turn it into a B or, or T. Yeah, T is better. Substitute the C in cap for T in tap, that's an example of phoneme substitution. Now team, you're gonna have questions. Uh, you're going, we're gonna look at some questions right now and they're gonna have phoneme isolation, phoneme blending and segmenting, phoneme addition, deleting and substituting manipulation. And if you see any of those, you need to remember, that's my friend, phonemic awareness. These are, these are all, I mean, this is like one gaggle of friends that that are known as phonemic awareness, right? They're all connected to phonemic awareness, okay? This one's a little bit more basic, intermediate, and these guys here, these are the, the advanced skills involving phonemic awareness. So very important ideas. And team, each one of these is a vocab word too. So we've got a lot of vocab here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, all right? Uh, manipulation is seven. It's made up of those three. Phonemic awareness is eight. There's lots of language here to study. All right, let's uh, let's take a, a look at our first one. It's going to involve phoneme isolation, uh, and these are going to be basic, basic stuff. 